In this tutorial, I want to talk about two of the industrial processes. The first one is Haber, uh, named after Fritz Haber, a German scientist that made production of ammonia practical by introducing uh, the catalyst iron powder and also the optimum conditions for this equilibrium. Uh, let's just see if we can apply Le Chatelier. So you should agree that you have four moles of reactants, one of nitrogen and three of hydrogen. On the product side, you have two moles of ammonia. So it makes sense to increase pressure. Now the optimal pressure, so the optimal pressure and uh, temperature to consider is 200 ATM, atmospheric pressure, 200 times uh, as much as one atmosphere, which is normal pressure. Now, somebody might ask you a question, why not more than 200 ATM? A uh, number of reasons. One is safety. It's not safe. So pressure b larger than 200 is dangerous, not safe. And number two is extremely expensive. Pressures are made uh, by compressors and the equipment to build to produce that much pressure is almost very expensive and it's not worthwhile. So 200 atmospheric pressure is ideal for this. Now the temperature, this is exothermic reaction because you have minus 92 kilojoules per mole of ammonia. So this is exothermic meaning the heat is on the product side. It makes sense to lower the pr uh, temperature in order to produce more ammonia. But it was decided that 450 degrees Celsius is, is a temperature that this reaction should take place. Now the question is why not lower than uh, 450? Because if you do that, the rate is very slow. The kinetics is slow the rate is very slow. So we make a compromise. So this is a compromise between equilibrium and kinetics and we want the optimum temperature to be 450 degrees Celsius. If it's smaller than that, cooler than that, you might produce more ammonia but it's a very slow rate and it's not worthwhile. So production of ammonia, we want pressure to be high, temperature low, but the temperature is 450 degrees Celsius, not necessarily low, because we want it to be quick and then continuously we produce. The second reaction, uh, industrial reaction that we talk about is contact process. Not named after a scientist, it's rather the contact that it makes with the catalyst that is involved. And the catalyst is vanadium 5 oxide, V205 solid phase and they're sitting in trays in, in the column and the gases make contact with that. Now, this is used in production of sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is an extremely useful commodity. It's used in paper, in explosive, in pharmaceuticals. So we need sulfuric acid and you produce a whole lot of that as an industrial processes. There are three steps involved. The first step is combustion of sulfur with oxygen, gives you sulfur dioxide the reaction goes practically to completion. The second step, which is sulfur dioxide to be converted to sulfur trioxide, is very slow, and uh, not slow rather, it's, it's a lousy equilibrium. We don't produce as much sulfur trioxide, and this is the step we wanna talk about and, and improve. The last step is once you make enough sulfur trioxide, you add it to concentrated sulfuric acid, to give you oily substance known as oleum and then dilute it to give you sulfur, uh, sulfuric acid. Now this is extremely interesting why we do that. It's beyond the scope of uh, IB chemistry so I'm not going to talk about it. Let's just dissect this second step and just talk about that and see what are our optimum conditions for that. So two sulfur dioxide plus oxygen gas vanadium 5 oxide solid is your catalyst make sure you know that it gives you two moles of sulfur tri trioxide and it's exothermic so heat is a quantity on the product side now first thing we do is 
increase pressure. Why? Because you have three moles of reactant versus two moles of product. So we want the pressure to go up. So optimum pressure is rather two, not 200 like Haber, two, because at this pressure you produce sufficient amount of sulfur trioxide. So there is no need to spend more money on your compressors and equipment. So two ATM is sufficient to increase the yield. The next is, this is uh, then again exothermic reaction. Remember that we like to reduce heat. We want to lower the temperature. But if you lower the temperature, you run into this problem of being slow. So 450 degrees Celsius, same as Haber was decided to be good. Temperature lower than 450. Uh, cause slow reaction this is for reaction uh, sometimes I write it as RxN one other thing happens uh, below 450 400 degrees Celsius when adium 5 oxide is inactivated the catalyst doesn't work so you can also remember that also temperature less than 400 degrees Celsius makes the catalyst B2O5 obsolete uh, useless so then again to remember pressure we want it to increase Le Chatelier is perfect we apply temperature we like to reduce unfortunately we can't if you reduce the temperature lower than this the reaction is slow and also the catalyst is useless which makes the reaction super slow